I have moments in races where I let everything take over and it gets all anxious and anxiety. Sometimes you just have to let yourself be free. There's nothing quite like a race not going the way you wanted it to for you to realize, oh shit, so nothing changes, life goes on, and then you can get back into doing what you love, just running. What is failure in sport? I went to Lisbon Half Marathon, I dropped out at mile 10, and so I failed. Sport, when you're trying to achieve things that you've you know, perhaps never achieved before, or you're trying to push yourself to hit these goals that you know perhaps you've set, it can seem cruel. But sometimes all that's happened is your ambition hasn't quite met your preparation. And then when you really look at what might have been an opportunity to excel, you haven't been able to excel because you've allowed ambition to get excited for something that perhaps you weren't quite prepared for. Lisbon Half Marathon, from a how did the half marathon go perspective, complete disaster. That's a fail, right? But it didn't feel like I left Lisbon as a place or an experience as somebody that had failed. There's a difference when you start to change the way you're looking at it or the perspective that you're taking from that experience. So today's video is sponsored by Ketone IQ. They're helping to support my journey, not just from, a, you know, during races. I did a full video on the fueling strategy for Dublin. That talks about really how I used it in the training for Dublin. And then on race day, how it was part of my fueling strategy where I end up making the podium. At the moment, I'm using it as a fuel source when I'm out there doing the long runs or the longer marathon-y type stuff, but I'm also using it for recovery. So check out the link in the description. You can check out my review that has that sort of way more detail about how I've been using it, but you can check that out. I ran 10 miles, the third quickest I've ever ran in my life, spanning over a 20 year career. Come on, I'm not good enough. I'm not consistently good enough to start saying that running 10 miles in 48.40 is a failure. But from the perspective of half marathon, not fantastic. But I did make mistakes. And that's what's so important to talk about. You can learn from the good stuff and you can really narrow in on that and be like, okay, well, that went well, that went well, that went well. Or you can overanalyze the bad stuff and you can start thinking, is running still something I want to do? I don't want to feel this way. When I couldn't finish and my hamstrings were cramping, my glutes were cramping and they, they'd been screaming at me for you know, the best part of two, three miles and the pace was slowing, I really got upset, really sad. Had conversations with my family and my friends. Maybe I don't need to do this anymore. Maybe I don't want to pay a thousand pound to go to Lisbon to feel this way. But sometimes life and situations and opportunities test you in the exact way that you needed to be tested. And that then brings you to learn and from these opportunities and putting the things in place that you know perhaps is gonna not fix what's going this direction, but make sure that in the next one, the hamstrings and the, the, the hamstrings and the, you know, the glutes, they're not cramping. What could we put in place to get things moving again? I haven't been doing my gym. I haven't been doing my rehab. Why not start getting it done? And so often what appears as this unfair, cruel, it's not unfair or cruel. Your preparation might've got sloppy. Your ambition was still up here, but your preparation was down here. Aerobic fitness is really important. Specific fitness is really important, but the body physically is super important too, because that's like your chassis. That's your vehicle. That needs to drive you to that finish line. So I had lost probably a bit of strength in the legs. I don't think I had done enough specific work beneath 450 per mile to start thinking I could go and run 62 minutes in my first race in, you know, a lot of months since Dublin. So likely that was a bit too excited 
and then needed to say, you haven't raced in a while, I need to race more and we're gonna talk about that. But I hadn't raced in a while, I probably should have been aiming for 63.30. I'm in marathon training, most of the paces of sessions is geared towards 208.10 pace. And then I needed to say, it's hot, it's humid, slow it down. I went off at 61.00 pace, I probably should have went off at 65. I made mistakes in the execution, I went out too hard. I made mistakes in terms of what I perceive my fitness to be. I've only ran 10 mile, I believe, in the last eight weeks at 62 something half marathon pace. That's not great. You need about 40. Four times two mile, three times three mile, eight times a mile, six mile in one go, maybe a 10K race. You need way more than 10. And my 10 were sporadic. They weren't even in bulk sessions. A bit off a bit more than I can chew. Then I had to deal with it. Then I was forced into a decision that with London being four or five weeks away, perhaps having some really important sessions still to get done, I couldn't risk the hamstring and the glutes. So I, I stopped. I wouldn't ever condone stopping in a race, but at the end of the day, if you're trying to make the Olympics in four or five weeks time, and the rest of that race is gonna rip you apart psychologically and rip you apart physically, perhaps it's not what you need. And only you can make that decision for yourself. It was really tough jogging to the finish line, especially having you know fans cheering me on that were running in the mass race. You feel like a failure. I felt like a failure. I felt sad. I felt really, really sad that I was really looking at, is this, this sport still something that you want to do? I, I don't need to do this. I have the successful business with Jogging Room. I do well with the YouTube stuff. I don't need to be setting goals like 2810. I don't need to go to Lisbon and pay a thousand pound to go try run 62 minutes. But my advice there is sometimes these tests, these challenges, they're giving you exactly what you needed in life at that moment in time. I've had a lot worse races, let me tell you. I think it does show that the fitness is getting to a better place. I genuinely believe this race will move things forward more than I ever could imagine. But things have to move on. Something I've done a really good job of in my career is not letting these really tough days or maybe bad experiences derail me from the fact that I just love running and I love seeing how good it can be. And I don't think five, six weeks ago I could have ran 10 mile in 48, 40 in that heat and humidity, maybe not even in perfect conditions. So I think things are working but sometimes for all of us, it's not working at the rate that we'd like it to. But you can't really control that. So don't change too much. Learn perhaps if a race hasn't gone well, what do you need to fix? I need to get back in the gym. I need to get my rehab going. So many free activation routines, gym routines. There is paid stuff on joggingroom.com, but also lots of free stuff. Tap into it, start utilizing it. I need to get back in the gym. Sometimes when things are tight and they're sore and they're not moving well, it does affect your economy and your efficiency. But also the way to get it loosened isn't just soft tissue therapy or physio, it's actively working the muscle in the gym, building strength back into it. I genuinely believe my hamstrings and glutes are still beat up since Dublin because I haven't done anything to fix it. Work it in the gym, get some sort of yoga or flow or flexibility going, Get on a little ball or a foam roller. Again, lots of routines on the website. Break the muscle down, foam rolling, stretching, massage, strengthen it up in the gym, repeat cycle. So you want it stronger, but you want to make sure you're opening it up as well, not just getting tighter and tighter. Check out the website if you like, joggingroom.com. Merchandise will be coming, some t-shirts. You can check that out. I'll add the shop once it's all sort of finished and ready to go, but just more of the same. Not getting panicking, not getting anxious about things, just keep cracking on. But take care.